Okay, so here we have a question that's asking us, basically, do we understand how a balance sheet works and what are the basic components? So first thing we've got is the header and you can see that we have right here, this would be the company name. It's always listed first, then the name of the statement and then the date for a balance sheet is as of a specific date. Also what we can see on the balance sheet here, we have assets, liabilities and our stockholders equity. Those are the three primary components to our balance sheet. So assets are what we own or what the company owns. So you can see here, this company has $34,250 in cash. They have accounts receivable amounting to $23,470. So accounts receivables when their customers owe them money. They've sent them a bill and now they're waiting for that payment. Uh, supplies of $2,600, prepaid insurance $1,300. So that's um, insurance monies that the company's paid, then they pay in advance, and then they get the benefit of that over time. So if they would cancel that policy, they get the money back, which is why it's called an asset. And then equipment in the amount of $14,725. We also see that they have some liabilities. This is what they owe. So this company owes $17,710 in accounts payable. So they've purchased merchandise or supplies or things with their suppliers, and they are being sent a bill for that. This is what they owe on those items. They also have a notes payable. That's a formal written promise to pay with due date and interest attached, like a bank loan. So they have $14,170 outstanding there. So their total liabilities come to $31,000. $880. Stockholders equity then is the difference between what we own and what we owe. You may hear people say, I have $50,000 equity in my home. Well, what they own on that home exceeds what they owe by $50,000. We like to have a lot of equity, own way more than we owe. We can also have negative equity where we owe more than we own, which is not a good scenario. And there's two primary components here to stockholders' equity, your common stock, which is what we give our investors in exchange for their investment, and the retained earnings, which is like the company's savings account. So this particular problem is asking us to solve for retained earnings. So there's a couple of basic fundamental things that we need to know. And one of those is the basic accounting equation. So you, everything we do in accounting is driven by this equation. Assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity, or we can drop the stockholders and just say equity. So liability, I'm sorry, assets equal liabilities plus equity. And we can summarize that and break it down even less into ale. So if you remember what goes on your balance sheet is your ale. Assets equal liabilities plus equity. Everything we do in accounting is driven by that. And again, this is a balance sheet. So if you think about it, what happens <laughs> if you drink too much ale. So if we drink too much ale, like we would get, say, at Budweiser, we're gonna lose our balance. So that's a good way to help you remember what goes on your balance sheet. Ale, assets equals liabilities plus equity, goes on your balance sheet. Okay, so knowing that formula, if we can tell what our total assets are, which is $76,345, I know then that my total liabilities and stockholders equity has to equal my total assets. That's why it's called a balance sheet. Those two things have to balance, sorry. These two numbers have to balance. Otherwise, you made a mistake and that's, that's not the case here. So, all right, we have a few other things then. Um, total liabilities, I've already added those together. So I know total liabilities is 31,880. So if my total liabilities plus my stockholders equity that's missing here equals 76,375, I can back into that pretty easily. Take that total assets minus my total liabilities. That tells me my total stockholders equity needs to be 44,465. Remember these two numbers added together have to equal my total liabilities plus stockholders equity. And again, now I can back into that number since I know my total stockholders equity, hate it when it does that for me, 
is E15, it looks like, and I subtract then my common stock, I get $19,465, $19,465, and that's the solution.